Welcome to a brand new episode of the Lot of Flubber. Really calm. Jing, jing, jing. We are back with a vengeance. Like Die Hard. Like yeah. Die Hard 7. Yeah, it's about to come out, you know. Uh, what, Die Hard 7? No, uh, not Die Hard 7. The new but, Die Hard. But it's Christmas time already. So oh, die yeah. Die, die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah many people country. argue about that. Yeah, yippee ki yeah. motherfuckers. Motherfuckers! Do we actually have to... We have to blurt this out, right? Otherwise, we'll be demonetized on YouTube. We right? are not monetized. We're not monetized <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, like, I like how you envision us one day having multiple sponsors. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, and, so and making money the, the off this podcast. That, uh, if we are vulgar on it, they can't just take us down. They can take us they, down. They can, but we don't have a, a big enough fan base. All right, let's do it. We don't have a big enough listenership. Mother no, if you're vulgar on it, they just don't monetize you. Oh, that's all. Your right. videos yeah. get un, uh, demonetized. Yeah, but now that we are not even monetized, no one gives a shit. Yeah. No one gives a shit. All yeah. right, then let's just continue with it. Let's yeah. take the most. And we don't have sponsors. We, we can even play the video of the baby getting eaten by the <laughs> alligator <laughs> and no one will give a shit. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, we'll be banned. We'll like each block. I mean, we we'll only get banned if one of we our are listeners already get age restricted. Are we? Yeah, we are. See so me, like if you don't have an account. On yeah, YouTube, yeah. You try clicking. You say that you need to you log in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to log in first. <laughs> yeah. But we we will only get in trouble if someone complains. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's usually how like YouTube works, lah. Yeah. Oh, fucking rats. Yeah. Amazing, rat. amazing that we have not been complained about. No, yet. because all everyone uh, who listen to us are our friends. <laughs> And they know how fucked up we are. Or they don't understand the language. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're either in Vietnam can or Bangladesh. No, but can you imagine when they figure out, when they learn yeah. the language, right? And they were like, so that's what they said. And then yeah. they complain about us in retro. Like, in, in yeah. retro it's like, they, they were saying this kind of shit, man. I just learned English. Yeah. <laughs> Two years ago, I heard them say this. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now they learn a little bit of Mandarin as well. Lim Do, waving. Yeah, lim yeah. waving. Lim Maybe waving. those... Uh, people who don't speak English, right, and then who click on our podcast, do you think they saw the word Lobang and be like, hey, I'm living in the Lobang or Longkang? Maybe that's why I kind of relate to these guys. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're talking about maybe something that. Maybe it's we just could the essence of it. To. Maybe they just see three guys looking for friends. Right. And they were like, <laughs> three guys yeah, uh, looking for friends. Yeah, they were like, I want friends. Yeah, that this, th- they, they, there's something about them that speaks to my soul. Right. That something authentic. Me. Yeah. Something, something that it's just either that or it's just you know pitiful, <laughs> right? It's one or the other. There's a fine line, maybe. Fine line. I guess. We are we are always treading the line. Yeah. 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 Between immoral and moral, immoral. walking the tightrope. Yeah. Walking. Th- someone's co- there's a co- corporation out there that crossed the line. Right. And stays there. And stays and there. And now revels in it. Yeah. They they constantly live in the offside. Yes. Yes. They constantly yeah. live in the offside, and no one's to no one's blowing the whistle on them. Well, someone did lah. They they did, and that's what caused the previous guy to get kicked out. The previous CEO, right? president, yeah. previous uh, president, uh, president, president of FIFA, yeah. And the guy who was touted to take over him also got banned <laughs> from football. Yeah, Michel Platini, right? right. So Sepp Blatter is the guy that we we're talking about, the former president of FIFA. Right. And FIFA is the corporation we're talking about. Yes, the this non-profit is, organization. This is a non-profit right? organization <laughs> meant to run the world's like uh, football. They control like basically the whole world's uh, it's football it's federation. Foot, uh, so the sp- it's the sports governing body, right? Right. So every like local like country's football federation, like technically answers to them. Yeah, I think this was the prime example of who watches the watcher. Correct. Yeah. Who governs like you the have government? the FIFA logo on your little costume right there. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have the FIFA, FIFA logo. FIFA Club World Cup yeah. champions. Is that the home United jersey that you're wearing? <laughs> Are you blind? <laughs> Nabe. You know, this Nabe. Is Nabe. <laughs> this is what it's like. I didn't know Home United is part of FIFA. <laughs> FIFA by the way. You, I, you, you can see I that. I this see how you don't even want to. <laughs> 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 the the thing is six, six <laughs> times. Six. But six the, the, the six time champions at 2019 Champions League winners. Thing is, somebody <sighs> here doesn't even want to wear their jersey. Right, I got no. He jersey. doesn't own a jersey. I don't oh, own don't a jersey. He's a cafeteria one. fan. Yeah, I'm, because, because I'm waiting for United to home United to come back and then win the league again. Not then Tampines I'll buy the jersey. Over. Tampines, no lah. I just I just like home. You know, it reminds me of home. Uh, oh. <laughs> I can't remember if Alberex Negata is still in Singapore or not. No right. Alberex Negata. Yeah, they left already, right? Yeah. Wait, th- those are they are Japanese, right? 
Yeah, but, but in Nigeria, th- that team came to Singapore. Yeah, they came to oh, Singapore. Japanese, Japanese, okay. Singapore, Japanese, Singapore, Nigeria. Nigeria. They sound African though for some reason. <laughs> Nigata. Nigata sounds I don't know. The N. The N makes it very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> he said it as I say it's Nigerian and he said Nigata. <laughs> no. You see this is the reason why I asked the question right at the beginning. How are we still not there? <laughs> because we haven't Nigata one. refers to uh, light skin. Light, light skin. skin. <laughs> Nigerian. Yeah. Uh the reason why you can speak so freely about this is because we don't have 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think... No, but we also have the power of Lim Wei Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> and soon enough, we will add Alvin Sia to the mix as yeah, well. Alvin oh, Sia. we need his face. Yeah. Some, someone please find us, find us his face. No, I think it's only a matter of time. Like, once we get big enough, right, we, the, we're, we're taking the opposite approach. We're starting off corrupted. Right. And when yeah. we get money, right, we'll be legit. And then we'll be legit, right? Yeah. So like every drug organization. Correct. No, so and, and at that point, right. But actually, that was how all the cancelling happened, right? Like people who became big mm. and then like the fucking rats went to find like, oh, like this person said this shit uh, like 10 right. years ago, 5 yeah, yeah. years ago. Yeah. So I think that we should just continue saying all this shit. Yeah, exactly. So ah, they can catch hide us from now. It. Right. Don't hide from it. And if, w- if you said Nigata, say Nigata. Yeah, say n- Nigata. Nigata yeah. If you say Niger, say Niger. Yeah. yeah. Niger. If you say that's a country. <laughs> yeah, you say Naka. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Nigga also is the same thing. Yeah. Nigga. Yeah. That one. Uh. Nigga. I want, I want that one. Yeah. Yeah. This that's why I say every Chinese restaurant exactly. when I can't not, not restaurant the economic rice also uh. yeah okay, when I can't pronounce the, 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 the name of the f- the, the dish uh, that one because that one, uh, all the dishes are unpronounceable yeah sometimes the the first time I heard that uh, Kolo Yo is uh, s- Sean pork. let's be honest la, we, we, we haven't been paying attention in Chinese lessons no that's why we can't speak Mandarin now yes <laughs> that is basically <laughs> I think you both should have said we have never paid attention yeah, in because the yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you realize how weird it is when you go into a class you already don't understand and then you're forced to like slowly understand. Yeah. Like it makes no sense to me. If you think about it, right, you go to Chinese class, they already expect you to understand the language. You know, they don't go down there and say, Hi class, yeah. this is one in Chinese. E no, they go like Ni hao, this is E and you're like what the fuck is E? <laughs> it's like, oh, At e least I e. have my excuse of being a hybrid bastard. Oh, no. yeah, okay, fine. You are, you are fully Jew. Yeah, exactly. So no, I, I, Jew. I, I forgive them yeah. when they make their mistake. They're like, right. he, he uh, would have excelled if Hebrew or Yiddish <laughs> was being uh, thought. Or if there's money on the table. At, at, at a yes. school with a fucking yeah. Malay name. <laughs> No, imagine if there's money on the table and like, tell me how when much this is. When school name starts with Ahmad, then you will know. You know, you know that the Jews yeah. are going to be oppressed. Yeah, the, right. things, uh, the thing is, I, I didn't even have to touch it. There's money on the table and I'll be it. like, there's, uh, there's enough. Yeah. yeah. There's enough. Yeah, this is enough for me. There's enough for a week. Of okay, a pass. Canteen. A plus. A plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just from the stack, the smell and the look of the weight. Yeah, this could fund 10 Israeli uh, wardens to imprison the Palestinians. Yeah. Good. You pass. Oh, shoot five Palestinian kids. Or I can tell the portion <laughs> of it for the Patriot Missile uh, system. Right. That, 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 gu- that no, guides they're, they're the... No, it's not Patriot Missile. They are, they are using the Iron Dome. Oh, now it's Iron Oh, Iron Dome. Oh, your Pythagoras... Pythagoras... Pythagoras? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Pythagoras what? theorem. Ah, uh, yes. He's studying how the Iron Dome <laughs> will defend against missiles coming in. Pythagoras. Pythagoras. So they protect you on the hypotenuse. Pythagoras. Yeah. Pythagoras. They, they protect you on the hypotenuse. Yeah. <laughs> Pythagoras <laughs> is someone's name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, a the Greek, Greek, it's a Greek. It's guy. a Greek guy. Yeah. The yeah. Greeks did yeah. everything. What? That's True. the angle in which he had anal sex uh, in. Uh, <laughs> he fucked a ten-year-old kid. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's like, "Let me calculate this angle to make it more enjoyable for me." But <laughs> coming back to FIFA, <laughs> how they fuck the world's uh, football federation? Money. Money. No, it the FIFA. It's the football federation yeah, themselves. But yeah, but, but how the they fuck other countries the like the people in charge? Yeah. The how they take advantage Be- of because it was like a shit. fucking like amateur organization before 1974. They were nobodies. Hmm. They were like organizing the World Cup, and it was like out of goodwill. Like we all just want to play football hmm. until. A Brazilian fella took charge. Mm. There's money to be made. Have a lunch. Have a lunch. Yeah, what a name. Uh. Yeah, that is, what a name. Bra- doesn't sound Brazilian though. 
Jorge have a lunch, right? Yeah. Jorge have a lunch. Jorge. 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 Jorge and, a and that fella changed everything. Yeah. Because he was the first fella to accept bribes. Mm. According to the Netflix documentary FIFA Uncovered. Yeah. What 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 a groundbreaking move. <laughs> Just accept bribes. No, and, and this fella, right, he changed it because not only did he accept bribes, but he accepted bribes and he rigged shit so that Adidas became like the sole fucking distributor for like the balls had to be at Adidas. The referees, the officials, all were kitted out in Adidas. Right. So he was the first one to discover. Like I mean, he was not the first one to. Di- he was the first. The, the, was the, 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 the first la. FIFA president to discover that marketing will make you money. Yeah, yeah. and he hired. Hi- he was the one who hired a young uh, Joseph Slap uh, Slap Butter. Damn it. Yeah. Bl- Blatter. Blatter. Did I say Butter? No, I no. I Blatter. Thought, I thought it was like the first Sepp one. Blatter. To make sure. Joseph all S. Blatter. 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 Who's, Who's, ca- Who's ca- uh, Catholic? He's Catholic. Oh, he's Catholic. I know one. Swiss Catholic, right? Swiss, Swiss Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Swiss. Oh. Swiss. I just wonder, you know, imagine he came in and then he was like going through the books and he was like, what? The previous president was offered this much to do this and he didn't. And and also it Why? was uh, Sepp who was the one, the mastermind behind FIFA getting all the sponsorships. From like Coca Cola, uh, um, Canon, Adidas. Philips, yeah, so on and so forth. No, yeah. no, Adidas was uh, have a lunch. Oh right, because okay, okay. he brokered the deal directly with uh, the horse Dossler, the the. Oh right, the, the guy who was running Adidas. Right, right, right. So that was like a direct relationship. Yeah, and then the same guy who was running uh, Adidas, right, formed a uh, a subsidiary company called ISL. Mm. And they were buying the rights to broadcast FIFA games, so like World Cup games and whatever whatever games that FIFA had the rights to, <coughs> right? Mm. This fellow was buying the the rights to broadcast it. Wow, oh, damn! So he was doing what Singtel and Starhub is doing now, yeah. back then. <laughs> but in no way are Singtel and Starhub corrupt. They are. <sighs> you see, that's another sponsor that we won't get. Yeah, it's okay. That's M one. That's M1. There's M1. There's M1, yeah. there's Circles, there's Giga. There's it's fine. Giga and there's we have many options. Giga is a subsidiary of uh, Startup. Fuck. Okay, Fuck. there's M1 and, and Circles. Circles. Yeah. Circles. And then there's yeah. Circles. Cir- Circles is using M1's uh, network. God damn it. So there's only M1. Yeah. <laughs> so just M1. Lah. No, M1. Lah. Is that why I'm, I'm using Circles? Is that why my connection is pretty shit sometimes? Yeah. Because if actually, M1's connection is not bad at all. It right. used to be like one of the, the one of the better ones, more more reliable. Right. But I think Circles Live because they are they the are they are not the fucking owners of the network, so they they're get the sister company. Yeah. Right. No, they they are piggybacking on the network. What? So I see. Yeah, that's why. It's not like you guys are using leftovers, lah. Mm. Yeah. So FIFA. Uh. <laughs> but that's the breaks, yeah. So FIFA. So Sepp Blatter gains fucking power in '98. When mm. France won the World Cup. Just before the World Cup. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why France won the World Cup. No, France won the World Cup. They won yeah. because that team was fucking solid. As the team was stacked with talent, lah. There's yeah. Dennis Bergkamp, there's Henri, there's Vieira. <laughs> no? You're talking about France or you're talking about Arsenal? France. France. Dennis Bergkamp is Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> France. Oh, France. They had this one, Petit, Petit. I keep Petit. thinking he's French. Dennis Bergkamp played for the Dutch <laughs> team. Oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. In Fuck. that tournament. That's a Petit, oh, yeah. right? A Petit. Emmanuel Petit. A Petit. Oh. Emmanuel Petit. Emmanuel Djokovic. Petit right. Vieira. Hey, uh, Djokaev. Vieira? The current, the current, ah, uh, Vieira. Right. The current coach. Deschamps. Oh, Deshaun did it. Did was, the cha- was a captain. Oh. He lifted the trophy. Right. They beat Argentina. Le Beuf, Fabian Bates was the keeper. Oh, they Bates is French? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They Marcel Desailly. Bates was your t- was menu's keeper. Menu's for, keeper. For a short period. For a short period. period. Yeah. But, yeah. That, that team beat that Argentina. That team was, right? no, was Brazil in the final. Bailly. 3-0. Bye. Oh really? Emmanuel Petit scored one goal and Zinedine Zidane scored two headers from two corners. Wow. Was Henri playing? Henri too young. Zidane. Hey, uh yes, he was in the squad. Zidane. Oh I see. Zidane. Wow. 
Shook. Right, 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 right. Yeah, he was in the squad. Right. Hey, I think he might have played up front. Hey. No, 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 no. I think what? Henri might have been in the squad. Yeah, might have been in the squad. Why do I have to keep thinking Bergkamp is French? Bergkamp is Dutch. Because <laughs> of Arsenal? Yeah, because oh, Arsenal was mainly all a lot of French players. Right? Petit, Vieira. Uh, I don't like Petit. I prefer a bit of more flashy women. <laughs> Emmanuel Petit. Petit. <laughs> you the, you Henri. I want to be able to grab some meat. Robert Perez. You want uh, Basti. Basti. Do you know Basti. how many French players? A lot lah. What about the, the guy with the weird hair? Uh, What's his name? Starts with L. Starts with L? Lundberg. Lundberg, yeah. It's uh, Swedish. Oh, shit. Lundberg yeah. had weird hair, man? Yeah. He always have like Coloured colourful hair. Yeah, yeah colour- colourful hair. Oh, but he ended it with he shaved his head, right? Yeah. Mm. By the end, lah. Freddy Rong- Longberg. Swedish. Sweden, I think. Swedish, yeah. Swedish. Sweden. But, I mean, it had to be money, right? It For had what? just had to be money. The corruption of FIFA, lah. It, it started with the money. M- uh, power, bro. Power. Power. Money. Especially when you give one government body so much influence. Influence. And fucking football was the game of the world. Mm. And the, the of amount the of that shit that they did, right, was really, like, out of the world. That's what happens when you have, like, a full full anatomy, is it? Autonomy. Autonomy, autonomy sorry. <laughs> anatomy, anatomy uh, is like <laughs> full dissection. <laughs> full uh, <laughs> full and anatomy. And and Sexual uh, anatomy. And then autopsy full also. Full balls and dick and uh, pussy autonomy, as well. Autonomy. No, be- because these guys, right, were running for the, like, the, the, the their presidential campaign, right, mm. for for being the FIFA president mm. with fucking insane promises. Uh, I will bring the World Cup to Africa. Africa! Uh, they did. They brought uh, it to the South uh, Africa. Like, my, the, my campaign is going to bring wealth and economic growth to you, different countries. I promise to develop your football academies, your yeah. football associations. It was like, all these promises and where are you getting the money from? Mm. FIFA is a non-profit organization. They make money whenever they organize the World Cup. Mm. Yeah. Or the FIFA World and then Cup all championship. And money is supposed whatever. to be going back. Back into, into football. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, whatever money comes our way, we are going to redirect it this way. So, so then so they start cutting deals to, to make those promises. Like. Yeah, so they start cutting deals with people who they know can benefit them. Uh. Yeah. I think the, the idea of how it should have worked was FIFA organizers... Uh, the World Cup, Adidas sponsors them. And so for that year, that World Cup, right, while wow, the ball is by Adidas, the boots, everything all by Adidas. Yeah. But Adidas is not actually supposed to buy the right. They're supposed to bid. Like maybe they're like Adidas, Nike, everyone's supposed to go in and then bid to FIFA. Like, hey, I will sponsor for this much. But behind the back, in order to get the their bid, because that means the World Cup is going to have Adidas everywhere. Mm. And that's free, not, that's advertisement for them around the world. Yeah. What happened was Adidas went straight to the FIFA president and said, if you give me the bid, <coughs> you let me do this. <sighs> give you this much? No, that, that, that fella did it <coughs> like fucking smart. This was in the 70s, you know. Yeah. So he did it like long ass time ago before FIFA got sponsorships from other companies. Mm. Yeah. Oh. And also, he was the one who kind of mixed politics with football as yes. well, right? Har- so uh, he Harvey Lunch. Yeah, because yeah. he gave the bid, I think, 78 World Cup for Se- Argentina to yeah. organize. And Argentina was being run by a dictator then. Yeah. So he didn't give a fuck. La. He was like... I mean, this this time round, also you can say the same thing. What Qatar got it also through... Yeah, so so that set the precedence yeah, la, so for, for FIFA from there. And the, it's yeah. been proven that uh, countries that host the World Cup don't necessarily make back the money they put into it. Oh, no. They make it in different manner. Different indirectly. Manner, like indirectly. Because, but the World Cup isn't as... You know, unlike the Olympics, right? The World Cup, I don't think, is as guaranteed a uh, lucrative deal. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it is. As in not the way they've been spending. Qatar spent a lot. No, no. Qatar, no. Qatar, Qatar is broke different. The mold. China also broke... China broke it first by spending so much money on their... The stadiums and all the all the infrastructure because most other countries that are like if Italy was to host it or or France or England right they already have 
uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure. They yeah. have the stadiums in place. Yeah. China built their their stadium, which Sh- at that point in time th- was thought to be the highest amount of money the they spent. The Bird like, Nest Stadium. Yeah, right? and then yeah. now mm. Qatar overtook that. Overtook them by a lot. Uh. Yeah, because they had to build like eight no, because China, or some China shit. Yeah. eventually used them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Qatar's not using it. Qatar is not going to use them. The they are going to fucking recycle, like fucking remove and transport it to other pl- parts of the world. And I didn't know Africa that. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that that stadium, right, was made of containers. Eh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's containers, 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 containers. So yeah. they can just like part by part remove it. So Jesus basically, Christ. that might be the world's first, uh, portable stadium. L- Lego uh stadium. Yeah. Portable <laughs> stadium. Uh, what you got the, the the game um stack the stacking game uh, uh Jenga J- Jenga this should J- be Jenga oh, yeah. Uno Stacko it, Uno Stacko it shouldn't be Jenga <laughs> or Uno Stacko because the 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 loser is the one that when it topples yeah so they're gonna reuse it until it reaches one country where it topples or you lose lah you pay yeah <laughs> you will never build properly but that's just an interesting idea because Qatar doesn't is like I think not like Singapore it's just like they don't have. Qatar's extremely small country. Though. Yeah, ex- extremely but small. But they've yeah. got loads of, of money, natural right. resources. Yeah. yeah. The thing is that they are... Uh, but I think the house of cards for FIFA fell before the Qatar bid even mm. came came to, right? No, it was it rocky then. Yeah. And I think shit hit the fan at that point. Yeah. And when, you, when the UK and the US did not get the bids... For the 2018 and 2022 World Cup, respectively, then they knew something was up. Then they knew something was. Then they started digging. Yeah, and there were a lot of whistleblowers who came out to say that, like a lot of corruption was going on, a lot of bribes were going on. I'm pretty certain, like, like in my own point of view, yeah, is that the US and the UK they were fucking not happy with how things went when uh eventually transpired. For sure, yeah, right, yeah. How did Russia and Qatar <laughs> get the bit ahead of you? Outbid, yeah. You know, at the convention, right? UK brought David Beckham and Prince William. Yeah. Like, how do you top that? Okay. US brought Bill, Bill Clinton, Clinton <laughs> and Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and they lost because and Russia brought the, money. <laughs> the, the fucking Qatar, uh, Qatari, their, their Qatar. top guy was the son of the Amir of yeah. Qatar, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was like grilling their PR person. Like, can you get me better press? Yeah, h- why didn't you get me better press? And it's then like, that lady was like, how, how do I top David Beckham? Yeah, how do I top David Beckham? <laughs> He's the most recognizable person on the planet. Like, people might not know Bill Clinton, but they will know David Beckham. Yes. And yeah. they might not know Bill Clinton, but they will know Morgan Freeman. Mm, they will know Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Like, there, there's no way you're going to like outdo David Beckham right yes yeah. so what and kind of delusion are you if are you, you want to like try you in? might want to use a. I mean you might be a what like a prince in your country but they brought Prince William or so, <laughs> so yeah who's known worldwide right yes. like, yeah. like what the fuck they brought a prince as well and she became a whistleblower mm-hmm. because she eventually told that there was money involved mm. where the fucking guy who was negotiating on behalf of the Emir of uh, Qatar was just saying uh, like how much do you need? Yeah. In and then he offered one mil and one mil was turned down and said what about one point five? Yeah. And, and she was, was trans she was translating because she spoke French. So she was translating from Arabic English to French. And then eventually they came up with a number and she was like, Fuck that's horrible. yeah. Then don't you just want to do business with so them now? Yeah. So yeah. she was made to sign an affidavit to say that whatever she said was false. Yeah. And, and, and also it's the way that FIFA is being structured because they have the executive committee. In the executive committee, they have members uh, which... From the different associations, right? Different so federations. Like, la. Yeah, the f- federations. Yeah. You have the Asian Federation. You have the 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 CONCAF. Mm. Yeah. Then you have... CONCACAF. Af- Con- CONCACAF. You have the, uh, the African Federation... South American Federation Oceania yeah. then so, so, uh, ones, so if you quote unquote buy all these executive committees right they have power over these uh, federations and then they can buy uh, they can buy their vote mm. so what happened with Qatar is that they, they were buying all these uh, executive committee members by like I think was it 1.5 million each like they were offering a 1.5 million to each of the executive committees to like you know, buy their vote. No, they they were very strategic. So they yeah. bought few fellas like this particular guy, Jack Warner, who is the con- who was the Concacaf like president, and he operates out of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm. Mm. So this guy wielded loads of power in that 
organization right so whatever he says like was like it went so as long as they got this guy on their side right they don't have to brought 40 the rest, votes yeah. 40 votes yeah just like that go go straight to him so this guy was like every time that like, the money just flowed to him like like water you know down down the stream and uh oh, was it 2006 when Trinidad and Tob- uh, Tobago made the World Cup uh, World Cup finals yes uh, 20, 2006 right in Germany in Germany so um the players actually went to uh, Jack Warner because he is he's from Trinidad and Tobago as well yeah right? Trinidad yeah yeah so they are saying that this guy has so much power he's in the ex co of FIFA let's try to uh, negotiate with him so to you know to get a better deal la. get a bonus yeah yeah get a bonus and everything for making the country happy so they struck a deal with him I think they 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 get like 70 30 percent of their um, television revenue or some shit, right? Yeah, so which ev- ev- amounted ev- to like many millions. Yeah, then yeah. eventually they saw like they got like the breakdown of how the money was spent, and they only found this after the World Cup. After the World Cup, because yeah. they all got like what seven hundred dollars each. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As the- as bonus. <laughs> so like, what what happened, right? Well, Jack Warner's uh, uh site sent the Excel sheet. Yeah. And then they saw that like uh, flights were being deducted from their from their uh, bonuses and flights not for the for the team, you know. Yeah, this is for the officials from from like the Trinidad Association, like football association. Yeah, and like all the other places where they should not be getting a bonus. Yeah, and then their accommodation was being deducted. Like everything they could be deducted. Everything, was, everything w- w- was taken away, and each of the players were getting like seven hundred to eight hundred dollars USD. So obviously yeah. they were unhappy, lah. And then uh, the most telling thing was that um, um, the fifteen million dollars were unaccounted for. Mm. That was part of the bonus. So I mean, Jack Warner is a dodgy motherfucker, la. Fucking cunt. Yeah. If he was living in the fifteenth century, right, he would be selling his family members to slavery. He he would be Samuel L. Jackson in Django and Jane. Oh, la. for sure. Yeah, for sure. He would not. He would do better, Samuel L. Jackson. He would take over the plantation. He would kill the Leonardo DiCaprio's character. Take over the plantation and then start selling slaves. Because yeah, that was eventually what he wanted to do. Yes, <laughs> he, he he wanted to get rid of blatter. Yeah, he wanted to get rid of some blatter. He wanted yeah. hammer in. <laughs> Fuck it now. Tarantino should make this a movie lah. <laughs> yeah, because he broke the deal right to yeah. get the hammer in, uh, into Port of Spain. Right. For the conference at the higher yeah, agency. Yeah. yeah. But that was so blatant as well. Right. <laughs> you go into a room for your gift. Yeah. Have, have, have you seen that part? Yeah? I've seen the part yeah. Yeah, where they have envelopes of like envelopes $40,000 40, cash. 40000 right? USD in cash. Hard yeah. cash. And, but the, I think there was, I think they reached a point, right, where they have done so much of this corrupt shit that they think they can just get away with it. You know, when you can have envelopes and then give out to people. Like, like it's just, so blatant, right? Yeah, it's so blatant. Yeah. And then you have people who will be like, what the fuck is this shit? Then they start, they start writing reports. They start taking photographs. They start having evidence about like And then one bribery. Rat- Took a picture and sent it to Chuck Blazer. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And Chuck Blazer, the guy is no saint in the solar. He's, he's definitely no saint. Yeah. He's part of this whole con- uh, uh, cabal. He, he and Jack Warner, they were like buddies. He fell out with Jack Warner. That's why he decided to, you know. You know why? Because he was getting pressure from the states. Right. From the US World Cup bid committee, right? Yeah. They were like, what the f- we got our guy mm. in Conquer Calf, mm. ex co committee member, and everything. He's gonna get shit done. Yeah, and he felt that yeah, fucking, we are gonna get shit done. <laughs> and by the back door, the there were other shit going on. And I think Seb Blatter is a fucking cunt as well. Yeah, because right, if you watch uh, the series, right, he actually was present at the African um, football. Uh, what's the name of the African football? Uh, whatever confederation, right? CAF CAF yeah. They are fucking Congress meeting yeah. Seb Blatter was there And they invited The fucking Qatari team To come and Give them a presentation Right 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 That was when They promised Money Yeah Fucking uh, Infrastructure deals All this kind of shit Yeah Seb Blatter was there Don't tell me He d- didn't know What the fuck was going on He knew what the For fuck sure. Was going on Yeah anything that moves In FIFA He will be informed la. Yes Definitely yeah. And then he act he act blur fucking like trying to tell people uh I think he he told Havelang's uh fucking son in law to vote for US. Oh. Like hey, this yeah, yeah. you're trying to cover your backside. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to make it seem as if you're playing both sides. Right. Like, uh, to a certain group, you're telling that, yeah, you vote for US. Then another side, you already broke a deal, right? And we, we don't know how much did the uh, Qatari government give to... Uh, we we Qatar. don't know, but there is um, facts, right? Like, um, they brokered a, um, na- a natural gas uh, deal with Thailand. Yes. Because one of the one of the ex co members is Thai. Thai, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they brokered a deal with them. I think Russia as well, right? Qatar and Ru- was it Russia? What, what no, no, they? Russia was different. They did not they did not really cover Russia in this the FIFA uncovered. Yeah. But uh the worst was France. Oh yes, yes, with Sarkozy. PSG. Yeah, with PSG. Fucking Sar- Nicolas Sarkozy. Yeah. Organized a lunch. Okay? He invited Michel Platini. Mm-hmm. Did not tell him who was going to attend the lunch, and when Platini arrived at the lunch, at the Elysee Palace, there was, there was the Emir of uh, Qatar there. Emir. Talking about our World Cup bit and how we are going to host the World Cup. Right. And then Sarkozy, was, and this these are words from Platini himself. Mm. Is that he was told that Qatar organizing the World Cup is going to be good for us. Yeah. Because so it's I, like <laughs> yeah, because Qatar was on the verge of signing PSG, uh, not signing buying, in, in buying over PSG, right? buying over PSG, buying the rights for the French league for yeah. Ligue 1. and then uh, Benin, BN Sports, BN Sports was going to buy over the French uh, rights for t- uh, telecast, uh, TV telecast. So there was like hundreds of millions of dollars on the table. Yes, yeah, hundreds and hundreds. Yeah, there was probably a couple thousand there also, lah. You just put on there. So yeah. This is just a taste. No, this those is just those were for the low lying fellas, you know. Mm. That amount of money, right? The forty thousand US, right, was for you to take. Yeah. And then the in only thing they said, right? The Bin Haman said, right, do whatever you want with it for football. <laughs> 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 what can you do with forty thousand dollars? Why? Why? Yeah. Buy a couple of uh, buy boots, uh. <laughs> Buy boots. Cigars. Buy balls. Buy jerseys, lah. Buy a couple of cigars. Yeah. And like uh, a good bottle of whiskey. To to smoke and drink while I watch the World Cup. And even before this whole like Qatar shit uh, uh, debacle came out, right? I think in the early two thousands there were there were already like rumors. There were really like smoke, um, that FIFA were not using the money to actually build, like uh, yes. academies, yes. And, uh, football academies in, in, in a lot of in African Africa, countries. In yeah. a lot of African countries, a lot of these places were actually run down. Yeah. Yeah, they bought the land and then they, they didn't develop anything. And it, it nothing seems to be a done. common practice amongst all those uh, non-profit or, or I mean, those scummy non non-profit organizations. Uh, yeah, they promise to do something and then they just don't but do I, it. I, like. I think one of the worst things I ever saw was the, what they did to Nelson Mandela. Oh man, that that was horrible for the South Africa um, yeah. um, thing. Okay, right? so like Sepp Blatter came into power. Promising that he would bring the World Cup to Africa. Mm. So, none of the other African countries, I think, were in a position to organize the World Cup. South Africa, I think, one of the richest African countries. They have diamonds. Uh, with di- yeah. Diamond, gold, oil. Many of many of these precious metals were covered in blood as well. Yes. But, yeah. Yes. So, they were like, okay, South Africa has got a bad rap. Mm. We went against you guys with the whole apartheid thing mm-hmm. and uh, all this kind of shit. So, I'll extend an olive branch. We'll try and get you guys to host the 2010 World Cup mm. uh, to make sure that you guys win the bid. We need the help of uh, your President Mandela. And fucking Jack Warner being the scummiest fuck made sure that Nelson Mandela got transported from South Africa to Trinidad on a 22-hour flight, paraded him at a cricket match. Mm. The guy was sick as fuck. He was on a walking stick and everything. Didn't care. Yeah. All of that boosted his uh, both his ego and his PR to show how powerful he was. And he still asked for fucking 10 mil. From South Africa so that he could vote for South Africa oh. and his cronies. That means he and his cronies will vote for South Africa. Yeah. 
And South Africa did win the bid and they organized it. Like, and then eventually they were accused of paying bribes. Mm. And the way people found out that they were supposed to pay bribes was because Jack Warner was irritated by the delay in payment. So he started asking... Where's my money at? Where, yeah. Where's my money at? Where's my money at? Where pay my me money now, at? bitch. Pay me now. Pay me money. Money me now. <laughs> the only difference between them and the mafia is that they don't carry baseball bats. Probably that's that's the only yeah. difference. Yeah. Oh, but the the lady, I think the Arabic lady. Yeah. She was threatened, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With her personal safety and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because she was a whistleblower against mm. the Qatari, um, um, Qatari and FIFA lah, and FIFA lah. To say so that they were all in cahoots, they were all money was being offered left, yeah. right, center, and everything, and deals were being brokered lah. Yeah. Between the different uh, uh, deals outside the football, there is. Mm. Yeah, because if you look at it right, like there's no way that Qatar has no infrastructure. Their roads are pretty shit. How are they gonna host like the roads weren't shit? They had zero infrastructure. Yeah. So they had no fucking stadium that was international uh, Hotels. The roads weren't and, shit and, no, because there were none. No, hotels, <laughs> hotels, they were already starting to have hotels already. But, but to host like the World Cup. Yeah, you do. Mu- yeah, multiple. You got everything, bro. You got sandwiches. You got Marriott's. You got fucking uh, uh, Ritz Carlton's. Right. But they you got the Four fan, Seasons. You the fan village. Every, all the big brand hotels all were in the process of being built and set up there. there were, that one, no problem. Right. But the biggest issue was stadiums. Can you can you host USA and Iran in the same hotel? Would there be a, a firefight? Or would, <laughs> there, or would someone there, there won't be a firefight. Or will someone run into Iran is usually nuclear. Oh, or C four lah. Or C four in the undergarments. No, I- Iran is not known for being a terrorist state. Right. I guess one man's freedom fighter is another man's terrorist. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> because when compared to the US, how how can Iran be a terrorist state when US is the biggest terrorist in the world? You go back three hundred years, and then the Americans were the terrorists, and then the exactly. English, the British Empire were the Americans. Yeah. How quickly? How quickly things have changed. Things have changed. Exactly. Yeah. But for them, it's like. And twenty twenty six, it's going to be three countries yeah, hosting. Yeah, I don't it. understand that one. No. Canada. Yeah. So. US and, Me- and Mexico. Mexico. So the stadiums will be spread all over. Teams no, it, it's, to tra- it's, fly. it's from a scale of uh, Me- Mexico being fun, America being so so, and then Canada being no, boring. How are they going to hold it? Like, are they it they has to be during summer. No, are they, yeah, are yeah, they yeah, gonna, it's during like, summer, yeah. Are they going to time it so Canada plays in their own country, US plays in their own country, then Mexico plays yeah, in their own country? Yeah, that's a fucked up thing, right? Three but host countries, right? Then all three qualify yeah. just like that. Yeah. Right, yeah. So oh, three. no, they are going to increase the number of seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they might yeah. increase the number of seats. No, the they, are, they, like are, they are, they oh, are. Okay, so the funny thing is that when Japan and Korea co-hosted the World Cup, they were still very close to each other, but separated by one sea. Yeah. I forgot how the games were being played. Like half in Korea, half yeah, in Japan. Yeah, yeah, so certain groups were in Korea. Certain groups were... So now the thing is that if there are three countries, are they going to have the same thing? Certain groups, in, uh, like the South American teams, are all going to compete in uh, uh, in Canada, in Mexico. No, no, that shouldn't be. And then the European teams in Canada, and then US just just play themselves. <laughs> the US wait. No, so <laughs> how it goes right is that the European teams play in Canada, the the South American teams plays in Mexico, and the winners, you know, after everything is hashed out, right, everybody goes to a uh, US and play. I'll, I'm pretty eager I'm, to see I'm what is going to be the breakdown. This is but this the thing is, is that I think it's just going to go by groups. So by the number of teams that are going to play, so let's say they're going to split the this groups. This one has how many groups? A, B, C, D, E, F. This time, 32 teams. 32 teams, right. So they're going to split the... So eight groups. Eight groups. So but they're going to increase the number. They're going to increase okay. the number of uh, participants. Uh, then maybe, maybe it makes sense to have, have it in three countries. La. But then for the fans... What we have to fly for that World Cup, the fans. But for Mexico can drive, what? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's like, what the logistics is gonna be a nightmare for fans themselves. They have to basically every, like, if you're a hardcore fan, you want to watch your country. Why if your no, country has to play? In I, all I three think countries? it's pretty simple, right? If you want to do drugs and watch football, you <laughs> go to Mexico. No, but what if your country has to like, you know, 
wh- how how are they gonna make it so that if I'm uh, I want to support my country and he has to p- and that country actually has to play a group match in Mexico, US, and then Canada. He has to go all three countries. Eh. Yeah. The amount of money I have to spend. Yeah lah, but that that's on you. Uh. They better sell me packages, man. A w- yeah, yeah, yeah. A World Cup, a World Cup package. You go in tour buses, greyhounds all the way to Canada, back to Mexico. Uh, a nice little express lane for FIFA, FIFA route. A FIFA, a FIFA express lane from Mexico to Canada. Where you you go from speaking French Canadian all the way to Spanish, not bad. Yeah. Uh, no, but it's I I'm I'll be interested to see where are the games in Canada going to be held. Exactly, and where in okay, I mean because oh, the, the French only is spoken in Quebec. Yeah, that's so only in Montreal. Montreal, and that's so close to you. I don't know how they're gonna do it. No. I I mean uh, America, I can understand because they have the MSL. They have their stadiums. Mexico is like also Mexico, Mexico also football league. Like Canada? Canada is ice ring. Eh. Canada is football. <laughs> their, their team were in the World Cup. <laughs> what? Canada <laughs> got ice ring. Only got ice ring. What? Mostly hockey. No, in the, in, the, in, in the summer, it melts. Uh, in and the then there's grass uh, underneath. Uh, yeah. In the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And grass they, underneath. They got Alfonso Davis. La. <laughs> so only one g- He's the only fellow who scored in the World Cup. The yeah. only Canadian to ever score in the World Cup. Alfonso Davis. Is that for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I've also hey, created he like history. At least he's a fine Munich player. At least yeah. he has been in the World Cup. Singapore hasn't even touched the. Like we've touched the qualifiers, but we've never Singapore touched Singapore will never. Will yeah, never the World Cup. But wait, how many seats would they give to, a, exactly. to, to Asia? Maybe, maybe. Because currently there's four. If they're going to increase the total number of seats, they yeah, might increase. We're friends with, with, with right? Canada, we're friends with US. No, but, but, but <laughs> j- let's be honest. Let's be honest. Here. Yeah. Even <laughs> if they give Asia two more seats. You go to China who, and who uh, do you think will qualify? China. Go to China and uh, even North Korea qualified, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you go to China and probably. Hey, but if you go in 2010, search, right? North yeah. Korea qualified. Hey, if you go and search all the players, they don't exist anymore. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> because they failed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah. it was reported that they won 2-0 or they drew against Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> but we watched the game and wala wala, it was seven zero. It was seven zero. <laughs> they drew. But the end of the game, Sean was sauced on the walls. <laughs> yes, I what the fuck. So. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be probably China and if it has to be an ASEAN team I think our best ASEAN team is Thailand Vietnam uh, Vietnam quite strong Vietnam or Thailand Vietnam, Vietnam or Thailand, Thailand yeah. Vietnam or Thailand yeah. Yeah. No, we, we can't take on Saudi Arabia yeah you got Saudi Arabia Saudi as well Arabia, strong uh, yeah Saudi Arabia we can't beat Indonesia bro we're struggling against Indonesia by yeah. then we hey, Indonesia league is pretty pretty, pretty solid uh. hey Indonesia. Iraq yeah. is, is quite strong as well yeah uh, football uh, Syria I think no, we might lose out to that, the Middle Eastern countries. And that's going to be so. very yeah. awkward for America, right? To yeah. allow uh, the Middle Eastern fans into their country. It's okay, lah. They just when the the moment the Middle Eastern fans walk in, right? You see like Patriot missiles, you know, lined no, up there. No, th- they're gonna yeah. they're gonna see discrimination so so obvious there. Like when they come down, all the planes all land like that. <laughs> then the normal people will just go through the normal TSA one, and then there's a heightened yeah. TSA one. No, how the Where US already in bomb suits. How, how the US players uh, uh enter the field is not via the tunnel. No. They uh. parachute down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pulisic will, will, will be leading the parachute yeah. <laughs> onto the field. Yeah. The uh, Arabic s- supporters will watch it from Guantanamo. Uh, <laughs> they'll, they'll have a specific... Fan village in Guantanamo. They'll have a spe- <laughs> Guantanamo. They will designate a specific <laughs> state which the US doesn't really let me yeah, so the, Florida, so the smart, Florida. So the smart advice uh, that the Lobang boys can give yeah. Yeah. is for the Arabs to watch it in Mexico and in Canada. Yes, right. don't go to US. Don't go to US. Save so the trouble. Yeah. Hey, but if they go to Guantanamo, <laughs> they, they, the prisoners will be happy because finally they have one month free of like... Fucking uh, um, it, it'll be I, a I, I festive. Must. It'll be a festival. Uh. A festival. Yeah. Uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So that's our advice. Them. Go to go to uh, Canada. Go to Mexico. Save yourself the trouble. Don't go to US. You're gonna get so much hassle. So what's that you're wearing on your head? So I need, uh, ma'am. I need to see your face. All this kind of thing. Yeah. Like all that nonsense. I said you can't see my face. I was like, oh shit. One whole group of burkas just not able to enter. Right. Yeah, it's not worth the trip, lah. Just support them from your own country. It's okay. I think they have a pretty big diaspora of like Middle Easterns and parts of in like LA and maybe parts of New York. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Canada, yeah, huge. Yeah, where yeah. they yeah. can keep track of them, lah. Where they, exactly? Yeah, I think the the yeah uh, 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 LA so- SoFi Stadium, New New York Met Stadium. There's one in Alabama as well. 
Oh, they have massive stadiums yeah. at the college football. Yeah. College football, yeah. They're going to convert that into They're football. Like Alabama, Texas, the AT&T Stadium. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and the Cowboy, Cowboy Stadium. Uh, yeah. Cowboy Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. AT&T. Yeah. 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 The Rednecks over there are not going to be so Then fucking the new that. stadium in uh, Vegas. Oh, yeah. The Raiders. The new stadium. Yeah. That one is, uh, is part of the football as well. I got a feeling yeah. that's going to be the well. main... Like, Vegas is yeah. going to be where it ends. Why? Like, if they're going to hold a final, right? Vegas and is the next best year, place I can Vegas think hosting yeah. Formula 1 as well. Ah, so that's, oh. where, that's the best So, place US, right, has three fucking races. Eh? Miami, Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, right, and then Vegas. Wow. They're cashing in, though. They're cashing yeah. in. Yeah, because not so long ago, right, F1 wasn't that popular in the United no, States. It's yes. NASCAR. Yeah. But then they discovered the beauty of curves. And turn. No, they discovered glitz and glamour. Mm. That's what happened. Yeah, and also money. M- and money, yeah. But there's no American F1 driver, right? In, uh, no, they have American team. Haas. Yeah. yeah. Haas. Oh, but no driver. La. That's they're, they're pushing. They're pushing for American. That's why it's driver. shit. That's why they got yeah. rid of NASCAR is still is NASCAR is still very big in the, in the Midwest. La. Uh, Not Midwest. Southern states. Southern Midwest states. Midwest also, huh? Kansas is Midwest. Because... It's it's pure. No, but it's no NASCAR is pure. Thing. It's NASCAR a southern thing. It's uh. pure and yeah. it's simple. You know it's NASCAR. NASCAR came from like the prohibition era. Right? Yeah. Yes. They they tune up the car to escape the cops. They lowered the suspensions. Yeah. Yes, and they can only uh, go. It was not lowered. It was lowered because of the moonshine. It, it <laughs> was lowered, but, be, but because the thing they like no to they drive could out circles around. No, the they cops. could outrun the cops. They yeah. could. But only in circles, lah. Only, only you I turning left. It. Like it's. You got to turn right, bro. How? Uh, <laughs> how? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It so cannot, uh, cannot. So it's 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 a curved, uh, it's slightly curved, right? It, it has the to be o- curved. Yeah, yeah. Slightly yeah. inclined. The oval, yeah. Oval, and <laughs> the most impressive thing I've I've seen from it was the move one of them made in the most recent NASCAR race, where the guy actually skirt the boundary of. The the, the 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 edge. That's how I play Daytona. Ah, exactly. Oh, and yeah. this guy did it in real life. You know, he skirt the boundary to overtake like what a uh, whole group and came and qualified. Like, right. Like if this guy crash, he can't restart. Uh. No, cannot. He can't restart the game. No, finish. Uh, insert two dollars to restart. <laughs> oh shit! Because he Fuck. didn't slow down and he went. No one crate. Th- yeah. So I guess maybe that's it, No, like, but you know, it just doesn't make sense. Like like how we played Daytona. Mm. To make your car like skate through the f- the final like the bend, right, and then come out unscathed and faster than everyone else. Yeah, yeah. But this guy and that's not the racing line. It, like it just goes way beyond racing logic. Mm. But it works in the game. He, no, this guy did it. If you saw the thing, he he rammed his car against the wall, but he kept it so that he didn't lose speed. Oh no no that he oh wow no he went no that means he was he was taking the. Longer line, the longer line, but he yeah, went on. But he, he, cr- like, not he's not said he didn't crash, but he he basically scraped the edge of the the band. Ah, I wasn't talking about that, I was talking about you know how we oh play Daytona, one, like, yeah. you know, Daytona, like you change gear and then you were, oh, yeah. no, no, like that skate one's drift, la, drift, yeah. No, no. drift hey, yeah. The guy learned from me when I drive in the KP. <laughs> 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 I think he might be the only when one. When I was drifting the KP, <laughs> <laughs> drifting the KP in a van. Yeah, th- that's the most exciting I saw. La. I used to think it was quite what, but apparently have to do it a lot more times. You know, they have to go around two hundred times. Ah, uh. I can't remember, but NASCAR apparently is like a du- endurance. Yeah, but also it's boring to watch. Right? Yeah, I'd rather watch uh, well, like like F one or, or or Le Mans. You know, I where they have to do, like I race. Think or even rally, rally racing. Rally racing is exciting. I yeah. have a feeling they go down there for, way more for dangerous. the crash. Way more dangerous. Yeah. You have, you have, you have. Uh, what have you seen rally caravans? crashes? Caravans? Is it caravan trailers? Trailers in yeah. the middle of the ra- of the of the track? Not really. No man. NASCAR is. Those NASCAR are the media. Really? Like yeah. Trailers? I heard. Mm. I thought it was all the rednecks that wanted. No, no. The no. trailers are in the fucking parking lots. A fucking massive stand. Maybe this is bro. all the movies that 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 that, that prevail, but well, fucking Telegator Nights. Yeah, all in the middle is all trailers. Then the no, the like now the middle outside. is the pits and like the pits and the media, like yeah. yes. But yeah, but like they have some protective barrier around them. Hmm. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure. But and the crowd is fast. insane, lah. Yeah, it is. People mm. are giving birth. Huh? Fucking huh? their cousin. Okay. Like what? In the, in the stand, getting a beer, like. In the a stands. sense, it's wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, like give it to them NASCAR also. fucking crowd is wow. I'm pretty sure someone is like fuck. Someone is actually having a kid. 
Yeah. At the point in time. Yeah. Having a kid and making a kid side by side. Side by side, yeah. 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 Most likely lah. The best thing I can think about them is just Daisy Dukes lah. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Girls and Daisy Dukes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But way better than... Uh, no, not way better. F1's way better lah. F1 is way classier. Yeah. Way classier. Yeah, for sure. Plus they have bands. Like I'm just saying. That bands? They, oh, they, bands. They, they, they yeah. do get to eventually the, the at some point turn right. Turn right. <laughs> the, the tracks have corners. Yeah. yeah. It's not just keep turning left. Yes. It's not go fast and go round, round, yeah. round, round, round about. If it's a if it's a race that I feel that I can drive in, then it's not a race. Yeah. If you just turn left. It's like what the fuck? Yeah. Just keep your steering wheel left. Yeah, yeah. Be- because it's like a Formula One car, right? To just drive it few meters <laughs> it takes skill. Yeah. Because most likely all three of us, if we try to like move off for the car, yeah. The car will stall. I think I couldn't fit into the car. Yeah. Pro- I'm probably too big. And too fat la. Parts of me right now, might I, struggle. Right now I can honestly say, right, amongst the three of us you might yeah. be the smallest already. No. Yeah. I That's think true. you you would fit in. What's your weight? Still eighty two. Oh. I'm seventy nine. Uh, but you're 79 this way I'm 79 Almost 82 83 No but you're this way 79 Huh? My waist is 79 no, You're this way My dick size My dick is 79 in, uh, CM actually 7.9 inches I mean 7.9 <laughs> inches, <laughs> inches in girth <laughs> You're saying that That's where the weight comes from Right you, you From my massive cock And you know how hard It is to lose weight From that area la. What in my, in my dick? Yeah yeah, you just have to come a lot, lah. I guess. You just have to come. He has every to do time. cardio. Cardio. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> he has to be eat more avocado. <laughs> skipping, <laughs> skipping. But, well, I mean, we we can conclude this by saying FIFA, you've let us all down. You were supposed to be the bright spark. In the no, world. and we should recommend the viewers to watch FIFA Uncovered. Yeah. FIFA Uncovered. On FIFA Uncovered. But and you if you want, like. Down. Uh, the way more detailed version like <coughs> from like politics and everything you should check out Tito Football's uh, <coughs> series on the World Cup 2022 like how Qatar got the World Cup 2022 yeah all these things actually they need to be more, more trans- tr- transparent if we had to reveal everything they've done right I think maybe football will suffer too much no it's it's actually it's got nothing to do with the game it's uh, the, the it, politics the behind it. It's spot. It's spilled into it, la. It might spill into it. And it might sully a little bit of the stuff. Mainly, this comes from bitterness that my teams didn't win the World Cup, la. But yeah. And rightly so, la. Hey, hey, because hey. the teams that you Japan chose. could have gone the whole way. All they had to do was there. Know, there are quite a number of uh, grandparents in Singapore who are like rejoicing <laughs> that Japan's <laughs> Jap- Japan's exit was imminent. The axis of evil out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jap- no, the fucking Japan kicked out Germany. Yes. That yeah, the two axes two of evil. Yeah. Two axes. Yeah. Many grandparents would be like, return my husband in 1938. Yeah, la, but we yeah. have to support the, the team uh, oh that was well. closest, the closest to us. La. Yeah. You know, Germany is still quite far away. La. It's, it's pretty. Well, yeah. Korea. Korea is closer, closer than Japan, right? Japan, Korea is. Yeah. Yeah. No, closer in looks. It looks wow. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you know what? I you know what I think. I think they it should looks just then we should be supporting Senegal. What, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Why? What are you saying? No, they should just they sh- Japan should always qualify for every World Cup, and then they they should just, just do the cleaning. Yeah, j- j- Japanese fans to the every Japanese stadium fans. just to clean the stadium. Japanese Japanese yeah. fans, uh, Japanese Japanese people are being recognized around the world for that. Like, every World Cup they go to, they leave the place better than. Them better than what it is they, they came <laughs> they are like uh, let's clean this place up you know yeah. why not because they have learned from history yeah how did you go from slaughtering Chinese folks to cleaning stadiums yeah it's pretty interesting actually they learned not to leave evidence behind right yes interesting they've, they're, they're still been trying leave to leave nothing behind leave That's nothing behind leave nothing behind ask them talk to China and they'll like deny and they <laughs> 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 what we didn't do anything no we just came in. We were guests. Yeah. We, we were walking through. We were going to We were just passing through. We were passing by. We Nanjing. Uh, yeah. Nice city. Nice yeah. town. Very nice. Yeah. We were it just was passing empty through. empty when we got there. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, what? It was empty. Whatever mishap ha- that happened was... It was already yeah. like that when it we got there. It was already like that. We were pretty high at that time. Yeah. yeah. So we uh, couldn't remember. On crystal meth. <laughs> we went there for bicycle Ignorance buttons. is bliss. Ah, damn. We, we are going to hell one day. Who? Cool. 
The Japs? Three of us. Oh. We're gonna join oh. them. Now. Why? For the ship we've said. There's no hell. <gasps> yeah. And on that Throw. note. Yeah. Throw me in a dumpster. Come on. Ciao. Ciao.